To create an events expense report in Concur, first go to the Home dropdown and select Expense. From here, click on Create New Report. The report type that you would use is Events Expenses, and then you would fill out the report name, the event start and end date. So this event started on the 19th and it ended on the same day, so we would do the 19th as well. The event type, and this is uh, formerly known as business purpose type, and this was a business technical meeting. And then you would uh, type in a very detailed business purpose. The last thing that you would have to do in your report header is select your financial unit. And you can toggle by either searching by code, text, or either. And for this one, I'm gonna search by text. And then make sure to choose the option under the gray line. And then click on create report. From here, you will begin to add your expenses. So click add expense. If you paid with a, a TNE card, this is where your available card transactions will post under available expenses. But if you paid for something out of pocket, you would click on create new expense. And then you would search for the type of expense that you paid for. So in this example, I paid for food. So you would do business meeting, food, dine and delivery pickup. You would fill in the required fields. So let's say it was an $150 expense, the type of meal, this was a lunch, and the meal location. This was off campus. Then you would add your attendees. You would click on attendees. And I'm gonna show you how to add one attendee. It was a faculty staff, and I'm gonna search for myself. Once you search and you find yourself, you can just click add. And you will continue to do so for the other attendees, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go and add some of the attendees that are I already have pre-populated. And then add to list. So now they're all uh, appearing as attendees, so you would just hit save. Then you would attach a receipt by clicking add receipt, and then upload new receipt. And then you would select it. And then once it has been uploaded, you will click save expense. You will then continue to add all of the other expenses associated with your event. For this example, I'm using space rental. Let's say the amount is 71. And since it's under 75, we don't require a receipt. However, your department can choose to be stricter. And then you just hit save expense. The last thing that you would have to do before submitting your expense report is allocate the expenses. So you would select all of the expenses and click allocate. You would then select add. The financial unit pre-populates because it's what we chose in the report header. So you would then select your approver. And I would choose Michael Lay. And the thing that's different now is that you would either add a project and a task or you would only add your fund or your function for this example i'm only going to add the fund and the function and from here you just click save and then save the allocation and then lastly you would just submit report and then accept and continue.